know that the thrill of the game comes with its fair share of challenges. First aid in sports is a critical component that ensures the safety and well-being of athletes and participants. More importantly, it is crucial to identify the injury and decide upon its treatment. In this video, we will explore the identification of common injuries with a focus on their treatment. One of the most frequent injuries encountered by athletes is strains or sprains. Let's understand these injuries. With stains, you might see redness, swelling, bruising, weakness in the muscle and tight, painful contractions. For sprains, there's pain around the joint, difficulty using it normally or putting weight on it and you might notice swelling, bruising and tenderness. Once we've identified the injury, the next step is providing the necessary treatment. In the event of a sprain or strain, remember RICE. R stands for rest, which limits movement to prevent more harm. I for ice, which helps with swelling. C for compression, where you gently put pressure on the hurt area to stop bleeding. And finally, E is for elevation, lifting the injured area above the head to reduce swelling. Now. Let's talk about cuts or wounds where you can see blood. If the skin is broken or cut, blood comes out from where it happened. For external bleeding, remember redap. R for rest, E for elevation, D for direct pressure, A for antiseptic and B for band-aid or bandage. This is a simple and effective way to treat injuries with external bleeding. Now, let's talk about dehydration, a common issue. How do you know if someone is dehydrated? Look out for signs like feeling faint, having a dry mouth or lips, a headache, nausea, muscle cramps or feeling very tired and thirsty. If you notice any of these, it's time to take action. To prevent and treat dehydration, make sure there are enough drink breaks during any activity. Keep water easily accessible for everyone. Participants should bring their own water bottles to every session. If someone is already dehydrated, immediately provide hydration through liquid. Stop the activity and stay indoors or in the shade if participant feels unwell. Offer water mixed with ORS and glucose for quick recovery. Now, let's talk about fractures. The usual signs of a fracture include swelling and bruising, not being able to use the body part normally, and sometimes there might be a change in shape where the injury happened. If you think there's a fracture, it's crucial to act fast. Remember, don't use the injured body part. Avoid putting weight or pressure on it. Stop any activity if you suspect a fracture. Get to the hospital or call a doctor right away for help. Now, let's talk about dislocation. Signs that someone might have a dislocation include the joint looking different or out of place, numbness or tingling, swelling, discoloration and difficulty moving with intense pain. If a dislocation is identified, the first aid includes Immobilization To prevent further injury, keep the joint still using a sling or splint. Ice Applying ice can help reduce swelling and ease pain. Professional medical attention It's important to seek medical care at a hospital or contact a doctor. Now, let's talk about burns. First, it's important to know the signs. Blisters, either unbroken or leaking fluid. Pain and it's important to remember that serious burns can sometimes be painless. Peeling skin, red, white or charred skin, swelling, shock, which might show as pale and clammy skin, weakness, blue lips and fingernails and a decrease in alertness. If someone gets a burn, here's what you can do. Applying cold water. Run cold water over the burn or soak it in cool water for at least 5 to 30 minutes. A wet towel can help reduce pain. Bandage. After cooling, cover the burn with a dry, sterile bandage or clean dressing. Protect the skin. Keep the burn safe from pressure and friction. Medical attention. Over-the-counter pain relievers like ibuprofen or acetaminophen can help. But remember, don't give aspirin to children under 12. If the burn is severe, seek medical help. Now let's talk about sunburns which can happen when we play an outdoor game. It's important to know the signs. Skin that's red and swollen, feeling pain, tenderness or itchiness, having a headache, fever, nausea or feeling tired. 
eyes feeling uncomfortable or gritty. In case of sunburn, here's what can be done. Pour cold water. Run cold water over the burned area. Apply aloe vera or soy-based moisturizer. It helps soothe the skin. Drink extra water and take rest. This helps your body recover. Let blisters heal. Give your skin time to heal on its own. Now, let's talk about concussions. A concussion is a quick but temporary loss of thinking ability that happens after a hit or injury to the head. It's the most common but not the most serious type of brain injury. Signs and symptoms of a concussion include blurry vision, confusion like taking longer to answer questions or repeating answers, losing consciousness after a head injury, times when you can't remember things. If someone has a concussion, here's what you can do. Ask basic questions. This helps check if their thinking is okay. Concussions can make people confused or take longer to answer questions. Stop the activity and use a cold compress. Reduce swelling by applying something cold to the injury. Take paracetamol for pain, but avoid using drugs like ibuprofen or aspirin as they can cause bleeding. Limit neck and head movement. Keep things still to avoid more injury. If symptoms are severe, see a doctor immediately. The last injury on the list is an eye injury, which can happen during sports or physical activities. Signs of an eye injury include feeling pain and seeing swelling in eyes, noticing bruising and redness, experiencing blurry vision, feeling irritation and a burning sensation, seeing blood. If someone has an eye injury, here's what can be done. Cold compress. Use ice cubes wrapped in a cloth to reduce swelling. Bandage. If there's bleeding, gently put pressure on the wound with a bandage and avoid touching the eye. Cold water. Splash the eye with clean and cold water. Get medical help. If there's bleeding or the swelling is severe, go to the hospital or contact a doctor right away. Armed with the knowledge shared today, you must be equipped to identify common sports injuries and their appropriate treatment. Remember, Knowledge is your greatest ally in the game of prevention.